There's a well-known saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, I'm about to meet someone who has taken this idea quite literally. Jamie Poole is a school teacher living here in Northamptonshire. Right, we'll yeah, I've been waiting to see this. He teaches art to kids by day, but in his home studio, he's been teaching himself a new technique. Oh my days. Whew. So is this one of your poetry pictures? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So it's uh, all made of poetry. When I look at it from afar, it looks like a painting or it looks like a very detailed pencil drawing in black and white. But on, on, on coming closer, I can see every little word here. Ah, oh, never seen anything like this. Look at the hair. So what gave you the idea for this? It's called Sophie, it's of my wife, and um, she's an English teacher, mm. so I've used her favourite poems to put this piece together. This first picture took nine months to create, and it's made up of 16 poems. I can see rode his armour. Yeah, as he rode his armour run. That's a line from a poem called The Lady of Shalott by Alfred Lord Tennyson. So this is a kind of collage, I'd say. Yeah, it is a collage, although I call it more of a text painting. Jamie's created other pictures, including this self-portrait. This one is made up of words from his diary rather than poetry, and he's been experimenting with the technique. This work, it just lives. I love this, I love this piece. It's a straightforward process. Jamie prints out the poems onto paper using a range of light and dark inks, and then he cuts the text into strips to build up a multi-layered image. Jamie's next text creation is going to be based on this photo of poet W.B. Yeats. Basically, it's uh, 80 years it will be uh, since, since his death in 1939. That would be a great tribute to a great poet. W.B. Yeats is one of the all-time greats, and to tell me more about him, I'm meeting up with Ashling Fahi, who was Young Poet Laureate for London in 2014. He was one of Ireland's most revered poets, and he was loved not just in Ireland, but internationally, in England and across the world. And he wrote over 300 poems. I think that he is still so relevant today because his work was so universal. It was about the human condition, it was about love, it was about nature. Do you have a favourite of his poems? Yeah, so there's a poem that's quite well known and it's called The Lake Isle of Inishfree. It was this place in Sligo which he spent a lot of his childhood in and it was this idyllic island and he was inspired to write the poem. I will arise and go now and go to Inishfree and a small cabin build there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honey bee, and live alone in the bee loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There, midnight's all a glimmer and noon a purple glow, an evening full of the linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always, night and day, I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore, while I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's grey. I hear it in the deep heart's core. Wow. I can see all the individual lines. Their midnights all a glimmer and noon a purple glow. It's a masterpiece. W.B. Yeats created with his own poetry. I'm sure he would have loved this. 